Hello, Leo. It looks like a dream connection is coming in, but it's not looking like what you thought. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Leo Tarot reading. It's a general reading. Usually in <laughs> between two energies. I don't even know if I should even start saying, keep saying that anymore because it's been so different over the last couple of weeks. There's been three energies showing up. There's even been four. And I think even one had five. So let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Ooh. Number 27, I haven't gotten this in one of your guys' readings yet. Flip it upside down. Question your beliefs. 27 reduces to a 9, approaching the end of a cycle. Question your beliefs. I'm feeling for someone specifically actually has to do with questioning what you thought you wanted. Ooh struck a chord with someone there. <laughs> Let's see what the complimenting energy is going to be. So flip it upside down. Mm, heaven sent number 33. Reduces to a six. Mm. So what you thought you, what you what the universe is giving you, what it is that you need, may not line up with what you thought you wanted. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Show me what's going on with Leo, please. This feels like one of those readings where the universe is like, neener, neener, neener. <laughs> Let's get ready now. <laughs> Show me Leo, please. Temperance card of Sagittarius there underneath the sizzling fire. Fire cousin to you, actually. Five of coins. Five of wands. Ace of coins. Three of pentacles. Five of five, five, five. Queen of cups. Tower. Scorpio energy. Aries underneath. Almost... Yeah, all your, all your fire cousins have, have made themselves known here. Literally right next to each other. Literally right next to each other. Showing up in your reading. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see what happened. So, <laughs> read this side as you, Leo. This is the person you connected with. And I say connected. This is the situation because the situation is lost. The situation is on the outs. And the thing is, is like, it didn't even get to be a, enough of a situation in the first place. Like, I mean, you guys could have met once, maybe twice, texting a little bit. I don't really see a date. I feel like we're like pre-dating. It's the texting and calling kind of stuff before the date is actually made. There's, there's some sort of lag there because it feels like the two of you meeting has nothing to do with dating actually could be something to do with work um could be something to do with a hobby you know it's feels like it's like example if you're if you're like a vendor for her company right i'm getting you as the masculine leo <clears throat> a lot of masculines getting a lot of focused masculines this week um, like if you're a vendor for her company kind of thing and you're new and you guys kind of hit it off, there's mostly professional chat and then there's a couple of personal things thrown in there. It's like, it's like it just like had, it was, it was before anything could ever actually happen. Right. And then it was lost. They were, they were, they were ready. They were ready there with the Ace of Coins. They were ready. But this was lost. 
Interesting. Hmm. Curious what you thought you wanted versus what this is. I wonder if that's going to reveal itself. Show me the five of coins, please. Show me the five of coins. King of coins, card of Taurus, justice, card of Libra, the fool. Strength, there you are, boo-boo. <laughs> right there at the top. Mm. Seven of swords. You liked her. There's your fire cousin. Ah, and then you changed everything. The, this is not a win. This is not. This is not a win if the nine of swords is in the middle of your pride and your heart space. Okay. Okay. Mm. The secret is that you wanted to move toward her. You wanted to move toward her. Taurus, Libra, Leo, Aries. So, King of Pentacles, Justice, Fool, Strength. That that risk was here to take that risk, to take that leap of faith. And secretly, you, secretly, you had feelings here. You had feelings here, but you flipped the script. Emperor Wheel. At that last second, just pump the brakes. Not going to go there. Show me the five of wands, please. Show me the five of wands. And as results, it ended up... Uh, five of wands, four swords, knight of cups. Ooh. Just saying, you're missing out. <laughs> you're missing out on this person. Ten of cups, knight of cups, lovers, knight of swords, palace of... Wands quiz. The, okay. This is the, okay. Permit me to say something slightly crass. Th this is like, uh, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> it, it's a, it's a bit like a love making marathon that you're missing out on. Just going to throw that out there. Just to throw that out there. Okay. Four Swords, Knight of Cups are with the Five of Wands, trying to decide on if on whether to stop or go. And it's not because sometimes Five of Wands could be other people, but it's like this this is an internal thing uh, between the head and the heart. Trying to decide, do I stop? Pause. Four of Swords, do I go? Knight of Cups. Show me the Three of Pentacles, please. The Three of Pentacles. Chariot, Card of Cancer, King of Wands. There's that Leo energy. One. What do you, you, oh, okay. You want to come in and start over. You want to come in and start over. Show me the Queen of Cups. Show me the Queen of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Six of Coins. Nine of Cups. Empress there on the bottom. Card of Taurus and Libra. Okay, Divine Feminine Energy. Coming up as a Divine Masculine here. So there is this back and forth of, oh, that's what it is. Hold on, I can't pick it up. Let me slide it off the table. There we go. There is this back and forth about trying to choose from your heart space versus what is practical versus what it is you truly want, what you're truly wishing for. And you need to stop that shit. Like right now. <laughs> There's nothing practical about a soulmate. There's nothing practical about it. Sorry, it's not going to be practical and easy where you just put it in, you're able to compartmentalize it into a box until you, you know, in, in a small little space so you feel like you can deal with it. No, this, this is a living, breathing other human that's separate from you, that's part of a connection that's incredibly powerful. Um, so if, if this is the problem, you, you need to expand your capacity. Okay, for a soul bond connection because you do want this person. You're just trying to you're just trying to ration it. And you can't do that. Because it, it looks like when you flip the script, it doesn't look like she stayed. 
It doesn't look like she saved. Show me the Ace of Coins, please. Show me the Ace of Coins. Star. Card of Aquarius. Nine of Swords. Prince of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, she, she flipped, freaked out about like not hearing from you anymore for a minute. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but she healed that. She's good. She's building her pentacles. She's good. She's re-prepped her cup, that Prince of Cups. She's re-prepped her Knight of Cups to move forward. But she tuck, kind of tucked him in the corner there because it looks like she's she's focused on what it is. However, she makes her pen pentacles. Show me the Five of Swords, please. Or whatever she builds, I'm hearing. Hermit card of Virgo. Ace of Swords. Strength, there you are. Interesting. Oh, this is a clever feminine. The short version is she knows she's going to win in the end. Okay. She knows, she knows in the end she's going to win. Upon reflection and pulling back her energy, she knows you're going to resurface and take the leap. Okay, there's the full twice. She's kind of sad that you blocked though. Because, oh, meeting you, she felt that spark for the first time in a while. And it made her perk up. There was hope to manifest something. There was hope to manifest something. Show me the tower, Scorpio energy, please. Six of Swords, Four of Cups, Prince of Swords, Five of Wands, Queen of Wands. Understanding and acknowledging that you are counterparts. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Okay. Um, there's a There was initial like shock and disappointment when um, she didn't hear from you anymore. Okay. Because um, it was really clear to her that this would be something that took off. And didn't get to do that. Why does... Leo, think. Okay, well, hold on. What's so different about this feminine that Leo doesn't think it's what it is? She is what he wants. Princess of Wands, Devil, Eight of Cups. Really? Wow. Page of Wands, Devil, Card of Capricorn, Eight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, Lovers. So there's a little bit of a fear to go in this person's direction because she's tied to some sort of legacy. Perhaps her family makes more money than yours, for example. Um, there's some sort of substantial legacy. Um, and she could be taking it over. Like taking over the family business. And it could, and it could be elevating her in your eyes in the community and whatever. Um, there is an implication of like friendship to more. Definitely more. Look at this. <laughs> So I don't know what you have against a love like this, okay, but it's it's one of those, it looks like it really could blossom from friendship quite beautifully. There's just the fear to go into the direction of something this significant. You, okay, okay, I, I'm getting that there is a Leo masculine out there who previously was in relationship with a privileged feminine. And he got raked over the coals as a result because he was more blue collar and she was more money. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Doesn't mean that every situation where a family has money is going to be that way, though. There are some that are very, very nice and truly nice. Okay, guys. I'm going to head over to the extended. 
I'm going to see what's going on with her because the truth is I don't see her worrying about you. She's convinced that she already knows that you're coming back around and she's working on her own stuff because it looks like she's got plenty to do. So I'm going to see what's going on with her in her current energy, her near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I will see you guys over there. Bye.